Hi guys and welcome to the Savvy Money Show with me your host Sean. Well, uh, today we're going to be doing another jibber jabber with the earnings and events. I think Honeywell and uh, as I said Johnson & Johnson will do uh, well and beat their earnings but Johnson & Johnson, I don't think it's going to be about whether they beat their earnings or not. It's going to be about an update on the vaccine. I'd like to thank you for giving up your precious time for watching this. And uh, if you know anyone you think would benefit from this, don't hesitate to share it. Uh, and also don't hesitate to give a thumbs up or comment in the box below with what you're planning on doing really does help with the YouTube algorithm now let's get on with it now I sold a portion of my Apple shares it's run up way too, too high 6% in one day which for Apple is high likes of work also highly on it wouldn't be but for Apple it is now they're expecting four different iPhones uh, some people are expecting uh, some people are expecting a budget iPhone uh, an iPhone mini and all the rest to tell the truth I don't think I don't know if they'll bring out a budget iPhone because they brought out the iPhone SE earlier in the year so bring out another one so soon I think bringing out an iPhone with more features is the way to go I also said uh, how Apple TV headphones the AirPods studio and a few other things now looking at the event I also said before how I think uh, there'll be a tie up with SPAC I gave a few little tidbits because I don't want to release everything but looking at the colour of what they've put on the event it's almost like they're teasing people it's the same colour as on SPACs uh, sorry, Fisker uh, emblem. Now, Apple rarely touch their emblem or the colours in their emblem. Why now? I believe they're going to mention a tie up with Fisker for their iCar. I've given the reasons why in a previous uh, previous video please watch that now I think that's also the reason why Fisker when invited on Kramer he said Friday I think he has an NDA where he's not allowed to announce it before Apple and Apple are planning to announce so if you were thinking of getting into SPAQ, you might want to get in before the event. Now, of course, we've seen before with Tesla's Battery Day and a few other events where they've had so many run ups and then the actual event hasn't done as well because people were just expecting too much too soon so I bought this batch of shares at 106 so to sell at 123 I think there's a chance that some will dip tomorrow and be able to pick some up of course I could be wrong if I'm wrong I still have my long-term position in Apple 
So, uh, I'm not out of pocket, I'm still being profit. No one ever went broke taking a profit. And, and don't forget to hit that lovely like button, almost as lovely as me. Helps with the YouTube algorithm and getting the video out to more people. And uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Become part of the Saving Money Show family. We give each other hints and tips and updates about stocks and shares. We uh, talk about on the show. As well as that, you can ask me to look into any share you want. And I don't charge a Discord fee or ask for a Patreon. All I do ask is for you to comment in the box below and hit the like button. Uh, even if you disagree with me, especially if you disagree with me, I like a debate. And if I do something wrong, I want you to call me on it so I can improve the channel. And why not check out the links in the description below? There's lots of others. I've used each one of them myself. I wouldn't give you links if I haven't checked them out myself. Uh, if you're looking for a free trading platform, we should trade your stocks and shares. You know, you can get a free share worth up to £200 for signing up and depositing a small amount. A free trade only requires a £1 deposit. The others require £100 or dollars, depending on which one you go for. Stake has over three and a half thousand US stocks on their books, which is the biggest one outside of the US. Whereas Trading 212 is one of the best and easiest platforms to use. But as I said, I use all three. Anyway, on with the show. Next up is the growth stock, Digital Turbine. Uh, if you've seen in the last five uh, days, you if you held it for the last five days, you would have seen an increase of 8%. I think this is one that will pay for itself if you hold it the last, uh, sorry, for the next three years. But you will see uh, over the next week whether or not it's going to carry on growing. I believe there is growth in, in this company. I could be wrong, but yeah, we can only look on what's happening. Workhorse. Now, I started looking at Workhorse yesterday again, and I started thinking everyone's certain it's going to get a report. It did the $200 million financing, which was good for it. It had a, uh, which made it seem a certainty, you had the, <coughs> all these reports coming out for it. it, companies were converting its loans, 75 million dollar loans to shares, which were good, so it ends up with the 200 million dollar, it gets 194 million dollars out of. So it ends up with about $270 million all in all. Now, I started thinking to myself, what happens if uh, $30 has always been my selling price for this uh, until we get a contract. I've always sold at $30. Twice I've sold at $30. And then I started thinking, what? We're all going on this one analyst, and I'm not a fan of analysts, even no matter how good they are. And what happens if nothing comes out tomorrow? If they delay the contracts again because of the situation? Now, it's unlikely, but what happens if they do? So I sold, not all of them, but I was heavily invested in work also, as you know. But I sold some of my shares at 30 and I'm glad I did. This is why, because it went down to 26.60 and I bought in at 26.60. Uh, 
the shares that I sold plus a bit more. I ended up buying 400 shares at 2660. Now, I do still think they're going to get the contract. If they do, depends how much of the contract. I'm willing to wait. Now, if they get 75% of the contract or 100%, I do not think they'll get 100% by the way. If they get 75% or more, I think it will run up. 50, 25 to 50%, it's hard to tell. 50% it should go up, but because there is still a 25% short squeeze on it, and uh, tw sorry, 25% short on it, and uh, that could create a short squeeze. So, depending on how, what percentage of the contract they get, I would say if they get 50% of the contract, I'd put a $50 price target on it. 75 75 I'd, I'd do it like that straight like that and 100 percent 100 do not think they'll get 100 percent though but you have to make come up with your own price target because this is an awkward one to do i will be i have a certain percentage of shares that i will be holding regardless i have a certain percentage of shares that i have a 75 dollar price target to sell and a certain percentage hundred dollars now we uh, as I said it all depends on the how much of the contract they get if they get it if they get any of it and if it gets announced I do believe they will get some Now, Faraday Future uh, IPO in rear a SPAC. This is a, an Asian EV car company. It looks very cool. The back seats all come down and it has software in it and everything. Uh, I, sorry about the background noise, we are outside. It is inevitable. Uh, now, it's supposed to be. Uh, going with Capital Acquisition Corporation which is supposed to be perfect mould for it now I have checked on Trading 212 no surprise they don't have it there uh, but the surprise is I've checked on Interactive Brokers and I couldn't find it there usually they're on there before they're on anywhere else but maybe you guys in other countries such as the US will have access to it so you guys might be able to make money while I, I'm left out of it but it's no reason why you guys have to be left out of the loop and the next up spec update is gaming platform Roblox and files to go public. Now, when approached, they denied anything until they denied anything until they uh, actually they denied anything until they actually uh, went to uh, they denied anything until they actually. Uh, filed the preparation to IPO so they're not going to be too forthcoming with any information so I wouldn't expect them to uh, come forward with any information and it's uh, it seems to be quite secretive but this is going to be a massive spec in my opinion oh, I'm surprised 
I won't be surprised. I wonder what's happening with PSTH because he hasn't announced anything. But uh, I mean, this is going to be a massive one. But I wouldn't. He wanted a unicorn. He didn't say anything about gaming. Anyway, let's move on. Now another company I'm looking at is our Gentex group. group. Why? It's been on a, a bit of a downward trend and as, as a turnaround I think it could do okay. It's debt free and it's debt free and it has a, a lot of cash on hand. So I think uh, it might be worth putting a few quid in and this is sorry about that this is from March only Yahoo Finance hasn't updated it you'll see uh, back then had 51 and a half million liabilities that's wiped out now and 67 current out 67 million current assets uh, total assets 76 million now it's increased that and when they report and when they get updated you'll find that they have a lot more cash on hand and their debt has been wiped out they may focus on the fact that people are not tr making the trades but these people will have to trade at some point so I think this is an interesting one to look into if you've got some money to hide now remember just because we have a few wins in the market uh, doesn't make us experts yeah, you know, I like this uh, from pick this up from Instagram uh, I thought it was hilarious and when you hear the way some Robin Hooders talk about Warren Buffett it's uh, I think it's so true and funny but Remember not to get cocky. We are near all-time highs. Nothing wrong with investing in when it's all-time highs because the thing is, today's all-time highs could be tomorrow's lows. But remember to be careful because it could be the high before the drop. So make sure you're not leveraged too badly, especially with the situation at the moment. Anyway, don't forget to hit the like button, comment in the box below, subscribe if you haven't. And I'll see you in the next. Uh, see you in the next video. It's all for now. Stay safe. Stay savvy. Stay invested. Bye.